Hello everyone, welcome to the first lesson of our course 30 days to a powerful vocabulary. This is the first lesson wherein I'll discuss some words for beginnings and endings. So this lesson and this course is presented by me Harshita Jain. I'm pursuing my graduation from Delhi University. My interests include writing, dancing and photography. If you like my courses and want to follow me, this is the profile link. And if you like this course, please do rate and review and let me know if this course is helpful to you. And if you have any suggestions, do let me know them as well. Also, if you like this lesson, please do recommend it. Here is the recommend option. So please do recommend it. So words for beginnings. The establishment or starting point of an institution or activity. So whenever we are trying to say that this is the establishment or this is the starting point of any activity or something, we use these words. So let's just, I mean these are the words which share this almost the same meaning but they are differently used. So I'll discuss with the help of examples how they are used and how you can use them. So the first one is initiation. Now initiation is again a word whenever something is just at the starting point and it is going to be started now. Initiation into the honors program will be celebrated through a formal ceremony in the auditorium. So again, initiation into the honors program. So what, what is going to be started? The honors program. So that is an activity, that is something that is going to be started. So this is how we use it. Not necessarily you use it for the as the first word of the sentence, no. But rather you can use it in between as well. Whenever you are trying to say that something is going to be started. It has not yet started. So you can use this word and this really gives your sentence a nice form. The next one is origination. Again, origination is a word which is little different from initiation. Initiation is the starting of some activity sort of thing. Whereas origination, if whenever we use the word origination, we talk about something that has come to a much mature point. Okay. It has become much more mature than what it was and what it was is the origination. Okay, so that is uh, how we use it. Among other things for which he will be remembered was his origination of harvest festivals. Okay, so something that was done in the past, something that was initiated in the past. Next is inauguration. I think that is a very clear word after the inauguration of the new government. The composition of the anti-federalist party changed. Right? So after the starting of the new government. Okay. So it is a very formal word. We do not use this as informally. Nine, in 99% cases, we do not use it for any informal thing. We usually use it when we are talking about some formal thing being started. Which is not necessary in the case of initiation. Initiation, we can use it whenever we are talking about something being started. We do not categorize it into formal or informal. But this is a word which is primarily used for formal stuff. The next word is genesis. Now, this means this tale had its genesis in five side stories. Now, this word is very much related to origination because uh, genesis is again, we talk about, we are talking about something that has now come to a very mature stage and that has now experienced a lot of improvements. Okay. So, this tale had its genesis in five side stories. Okay. Next one is a sudden occurrence of something unpleasant or unwelcome. So this is a, a negative uh, meaning and whenever we are talking about this, the effect or the change that has created ha is negative. Okay. 
so it is not welcomed and it is not pleasant and that is why we use all these words when we are talking about something that has occurred suddenly and out of surprise and it is not positive so the first word is infancy opinion polls were in their infancy so in a very very early stage okay the next word is onset onset means as a rule the onset is sudden and well marked okay so at the on as a rule the onset is sudden and well marked the third word is instigate he did not instigate anything just the opposite so this is a sentence which says that he did not start it as pleasantly as he ex was expected to and the last one is outbreak the cause was the outbreak of 30 years war so outbreak is the most common use word so on that on its place you can use infancy onset and instigate so now a book now i will tell you the difference why these why am i using even the common words here earlier if you read outbreak we you know we usually judge the meaning we presume the meaning but knowing the actual meaning becomes a deal and that is how this course is going to help you whenever you're going to read outbreak or instigate in the newspaper or wherever whatever you read you're going to know the exact meaning and whenever you want to tell that this was something which was sudden and it suddenly occurred and it's unpleasant so you can use these words easily and it will give you a very very nice confidence and as well as effectiveness in the speaking and writing all right so if you have any questions or if you want to practice please a comment in the comment section with your examples now words for the endings the fact or process of ending or being brought to an end so i'm not using the commonly used words here so something if is going to be brought to an end or something which is in the process of being brought to an end we can use cessation termination and discontinuance so its cessation greatly increased this affection okay so when it was seized when it is brought to be seized it brought a lot of disaffection this is how we use it termination all the words are always used for relating it to some subject so termination we have the example as the foreseen adverse termination of this long drawn cause led to henry's legislation okay so a little complex intense so i'll just break and explain you so the foreseen adverse termination again the end of the lo this long drawn cause led to henry's legislation okay and last one is discontinuance now discontinuance means this policy was the discontinuance of the consul ship okay so again the three words are can be used interchangeably though secession means that it has already happened we normally use secession when we want to say that it has already been ceased then are these three words annulment abrogation and desistance now i'll explain you the examples people were demanding the annulment of the secret treaty so people were asking the secret treaty to be brought to an end okay so that is how we use the word annulment then abrogation abrogation means this led to gradual abrogation of the may laws again abrogation and secession we usually use when we want to say that that the thing has already ended and the last one is desistance desistance it also helps us to set and determine the desistance of the caste to a given point okay so i don't think there would be any problem when you are learning all these words and i am explaining you the examples as well so even if then you have any questions you can let me know and i'll just read your examples and tell you if they need any correction okay so these were the words for beginnings and endings
Thanks for watching this lesson. Stay tuned for more. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section on our academy digest. Thank you.